Hi everyone, for this video we're going to look at how to use the derivative to help us find the equation of the line tangent to a graph at a specific point. So um, we have this function that's identified for us, right, f of x, and in order to find the equation of any line, um, it's usually helpful to have your point, which they gave us. So from this point, we know what x1 is and what y1 is. Um, but what we need also is the slope. So if you remember, if you find the derivative, the derivative represents the slope of the tangent line. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to find the derivative of this function. So in order to find the derivative of that function, we're going to have to use the quotient rule. And if you recall from the note, the quotient rule, um, well, let, let me just state here. So if we have f of x over g of x, the quotient rule states that it's the, the bottom, or g of x, times the derivative of the top, or f of x, f prime of x, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So that is the quotient rule. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of this function f. I'm going to call it um, big F just so that we don't get confused here. So I'm going to say big F um, of x is equal to, what was it? x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 4. And so if I'm going to apply this quotient rule, th what we're saying is this is kind of like my f of x, and then this is my g of x, if I were to use the same notation here. So if that's my f of x, then f prime of x would be the derivative of that. So the derivative of x squared plus 1 is just 2x. And then I'm going to find the derivative of g of x, which is the bottom part. So if I take the derivative of x squared minus 4, I also get 2x. Okay, so I'm going to use this notation here to help me fill out the rest. And so if I want to find the derivative of that function, um, I'm going to take the bottom, so g of x. So it's going to be x squared minus 4 times the derivative of the top, or f prime of x, which we said was 2x, minus f of x, or x squared plus 1, times the derivative of the bottom, so g prime of x, which is 2x, all over g of x squared, so the bottom squared. Now, I'm not going to simplify all of this because we can see from up here that we are at the point x equals 3. That's what's given us, given to us here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 3 in for my x value just to kind of make it simpler here. So let's do that. So let me use a different color here. So if I put 3 in here, I have... 3 squared minus 4, 2 times 3 minus 3 squared plus 1, 2 times 3, all over 3 squared minus 4 squared. And let's see, 3 squared is 9 minus 4, that gives me 5, so the top is 5 times 6, minus 3 squared plus 1 is 10, times 6, and then 3 squared minus 4 is 5, squared is 25. So if I simplify, I get f prime of 3 is equal to 5 times 6, which is 30, minus 60 over 25, which is negative 30 over 25, which gives me negative 6 over 5. So this work right here is my slope. So all of that, finding derivative, plugging in is to find our slope. So now we know our slope is negative 6 fifths. We also know that our point is 3, 2. So we have slope, we have a point. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point slope form of a line. So let's see, I have y minus y1 
is equal to m times x minus x1. So remember, from this point here, we know that x1 is 3, y1 is 2, and now from the work we just did, we know that the slope is negative 6 fifths. So I'm going to plug in those three things. So I have y minus y1, which is 2, is equal to negative 6 fifths x minus x1, which is 3. And that is the equation of a line tangent to the graph of f of x. Um, you can also simplify this. It's not necessary, but sometimes we, um, we do want it in uh, slope-intercept form. And so to simplify this, you would just distribute. So I have y minus 2, negative 6 fifths x plus 18 fifths. And if I want to simplify some more, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And I get y is equal to negative 6 fifths x plus, let's see, 28 over 5. So in either case, you can give it as a point-slope equation or slope-intercept, but that is the equation of a line tangent to that function.